popping. Okay. Well, hello. Welcome to Oxen Free Part Eight. I think it is. I've noticed it says for a guided tour, tune in to station one o two point three. Somewhere around here. Serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Ooh. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies both foreign and domestic. This is the sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of... Interesting. I wish I noticed that before. They said that in the well place, too. Now I'm curious about the vault. What will it say about that? Coded attack. The shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, trigger- Interesting. So there's like so many places I could've... I'm going to play through this game again on my own time. Well, look it up. Oh, about my choice of choosing that Nona. In games and in real life, I try to stay as neutral as possible. I don't like making people mad. And she was the neutral choice, so I went there. Do it all the time. Especially in, like, Telltale games. Though they force me to choose a side, eventually. Picking sides sucks, basically. Thus, I don't. Nailed it instantly. How how many of you are there? How how many? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, five, to be exact, by the way. Um. Just then. Oxen free. Let's see if. You know what? Can I check the map to see if both the guys are still alive? They are. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This... So that could explain why the radio is doing this stuff, I guess. I like how they have the lore hidden in like that about the island and stuff. That's cool. I like it. I wish I noticed it said that right there earlier, but we're heading the right way. To the left.
Still loading. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. This is where it came from. An ink with that. The lights are interesting. Clarissa, what are you? How did she get up there? What are you doing? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought we thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? On the beach and Alex! The Christ, radio. what's Dragon. wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Oh god, not again. Uh, I hate when this happens. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh... Clarissa! I can... Uh, I'll try, okay, I'll try. Clarissa, can you... Can you oh boy. Hear me? Do you not? Crap, crap. Marissa, can you come down? No. Oh. Oh, uh, what? You think you can control me? Clarissa. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. We're not trying? What about you? What have you done? You get stuck in Milner. You ask for our help. What have I done? I've sacrificed. I've made immense, bottomless sacrifices. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's? I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Hmm. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you... do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother... Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions. Just... We have to stick together if we're going to make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no. me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She's- Jonah, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I, 
I don't... Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So, let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Huh? Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Clarissa, everything more than everything? Like, like just now? Um, nope. I don't really remember that. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. 1941. And commissioned into we're gonna service at the end of we're that gonna try to get into the office thing, General right? Platinum. To get the key. On October 28th, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains to this day the only submarine. Alex, want to try and get American the key water. for the gate? You know, the reason we're here. Twelve army passengers were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Curious. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Uh. <sighs> Good thinking. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Uh, uh, okay. Has that happened before? Oh, yeah. It's... I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to add their... Uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a... Wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. To whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths. Shh. Inside. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true Everything chronicle of the away. island. Oh, oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah. We've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally Everything face up with you. Day. Alpha, November, Tango, India. This is her Quebec. station. Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything.
everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec. Okay. Interesting. I don't understand what's happening here. So, the ghost don't want us to find out the truth and they want us to stay or leave. Down. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is... What? I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Past. Different color hair. Dead person. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the, the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but they know I can- No, 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 you, you- You drowned in- in Horn Lake back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat mom's cookies like right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right, can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember we're all on the island? Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. Uh, no, no, not, not logicking right now. That's, you can't, no. <laughs> when has this game logic before? <sighs> it's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's, what's his face? Mr. Collins English. Uh, it's been, I, I don't know. It's been. Ah, sorry. I think, yeah, I. <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Our whole, like, island horror show. Ghosts and possessions and... And none of this is jarring like anything loose. If this is about Ren's movie, I mean, I told him I didn't want to do it. Half the script was an underwear scene, so, you know, no thanks. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So... I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Thanks for uh, telling me. Yeah, of course. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. 
kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure, I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet. And... Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I, I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so, but I owe you. What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's, okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so that's what I see in her. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Back to Nona, I assume. Also, I had my mic muted. I didn't realize. So, hmm. that must have actually happened then, I guess, maybe? I mean, minus the part about her talking about the future, Alex, but... are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he? I was... Uh, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Which way are we heading? Steal a bow. We have to go over here. Know Maggie grew up in Maine. Simpler statue of a soldier in Maine. Grew up. Yeah. My memory of it is I. Th My memory of it is I think part of the reason why I said yes to when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's. Per <laughs> I can't English. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 17, 1975, rather, to have this one made after the daughter of the Conalola crewman, Francis Salter, asked. I don't know why. A marker, maybe, for the hope I once had to help people. Hmm. We're all here? Wait. Why are we all here? Weren't they supposed to be up at the... Hmm.
Hmm. I'll go left, I guess. Right? Yeah. Right? Where are we going? Jason? We were only down one person. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? Yep. This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. Some <sighs> weird stuff happened along the way, but I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff? And we can't find Clarissa, so she pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, but... Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah. Some, some way. So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Space magic. I assume it's her station, right? Oh. Hmm. Nice, I just got removed from my party. And that is a good place to stop because we're almost at half an hour. So I will see you guys on the next run. One. Bye.